Hurricane Dorian that actually could hit Florida. Now, Orlando Sentinel or Centennial, this is the current storm track of this hurricane. And it looks to cover the state of Florida. This is going to be, according to the current port reports coming out, it could even match the hurricanes that hit in the nights. They were hit August 3rd, and another one that hit right after August 3rd. There was two back. There were two back-to-back -back hurricanes that hit in the 90s and caused unprecedented devastation. Trees were down everywhere. It was a total mess. And the hurricanes that hit then, they hit one right after another. I'm trying to find the information. They're comparing this to uh, those hurricanes that hit in the 90s. Back to back. Which were extremely devastating. They, uh, the mid-1990s. They posted an article about it in 2007, 2017. And if this does hit as a Category 4, be prepared for a lot of devastation. And I'm just, I'm just reporting this because earlier they, they had stated that it was just going to be a Category 1, maybe turn into a tropical storm. Then they said, well, Category 3, or, and then turning to 2. Now it's going to be a Category 4 as it hits land. It's been very uncertain. I can't get this article to pull up. But it was, a, it was regarding the hurricanes that hit August 3rd and then another one after August 3rd. Oddly enough, my birthday. That was weird, but... Extremely dangerous Category 4 as it makes landfall on the eastern coast of Florida early next week. The National Hurricane Center said that it's a dangerous situation. It strengthened to a 2 storm, Category 2, and Thursday night there could also be issued warnings for the Bahamas on Friday, Thursday night and Friday. There's an increasing likelihood of life-threatening storm surge along portions of the Florida east coast like this weekend or early next week. Although it's too early, and they say it's too soon, to determine where the current residents are. They said do so. The International Hurricane Association said that this storm can do lots of damage. As long as it's fairly small and moving fairly fast, the big concern will be the wind at the, at the landfall point. But if it grows, like it's doing now, well, they said if it stalls, as they tend to do before landfall, we'll have to worry more about storm surge. They said Central Floridians always, they've already been making preparations for the storms. Bottled water, generators, other supplies needed that are already in high demand, the storms largest track had it approaching to the east coast on Monday afternoon and reaching Orlando area around Tuesday afternoon hours later than it had actually been predicted earlier in the day. So it changed within a few hours. Home Depot has now sent out more than 160 truckloads of products to stores in Florida so far. Company spokesperson stated that uh, while f flavored waters and sports drinks main remained available Thursday at the Walmart Supercenter, shelves of water were emptied out. Some shelves of canned goods have also thinned very, very much. We got batteries, this one person stated. They said that water was cleaned out like, cat like crows from shelves. There's literally no water. There's only flavored water left. The state offered an additional 200,000 gallons of water to bring the total to more than 1 million gallons. It deployed 860,000 bottles of water to the prepared counties yesterday. Meanwhile, areas around canceled hotels were uh, offering deals. Colleges and schools were canceled. The uh, universities of Central Florida and other places 
So they're closing at 5 and they're canceling. Rollins urged students to ride out the storm at a safe place off of campus. And they urged residents to get out there in the storm surge zone. The impending storm also caused relocation of football games, which uh, they stated the owners went to uh, $60 a night. They went to $60 a night. Florida rents at the International Drive Hotels. Other hotels are expected to announce their own special rates and deals. No evacuations yet have taken place, but if there is an evacuation order, they will let everyone know, obviously. Yeah, the National Guard is deployed. Guard have been there, but 100 of them are on standby at a time. As it increases in strength, the storm is potentially damaging, damaging homes, businesses, and buildings, which is why all Floridians should remain vigilant. Do not wait until it's too late to make a plan. It will be a very big hurricane, they said. The state of the state and uh, federal institutions put out a warning saying it will be very big. Perhaps one of the biggest hurricanes the Lord has ever seen. Right now, the storm is fairly tight with hurricane force winds, extending about 15 miles. They said that water is Atlantic, increasing this and will make it both intensity and size. It's forecast to become a major hurricane on Friday and central forecast paths, the target being central Florida for landfall. It includes all of Florida's east coast should be prepared as well. Flooding will be dangerous. They said strong winds will occur. Parts of Florida that hits in isolated areas early next week. They said that Flood waters rushed last time when Irma struck a couple of homes. People be evacuated. Americans had to help out. They said that it's already in a damp state due to the rain that they've had. 40 acre. Let's see. Water levels have been drained down five feet lower, which could have limited damage to uh, two years ago when that happened. So they've already done that in preparation. Out of the evacuation zone because animals and people, if they're abandoned, could die during any evacuations. Animals, especially, could die. And more than uh, more than 50 tethered cats and dogs were uh, taken, rescued because of the uh, because when the people had to leave during. I mean, Dorian, I would have definitely let the animals free if I were them. I would not have let them tethered. That that was I would not have let them tied or in a cage. That was just that's not using forethought at all. You definitely let your animals loose in impending disasters coming upon you. I mean, they think about it. Use common sense. Anyway, they said they used blue tarps to cover some 30,000 homes nearly two years after Maria, so they're using them again. Several hundred customers are without electricity across Puerto Rico already, and utility workers are working there. They said that... Several people stated that this one individual had to climb his roof to clear the debris ahead of the storm. Dorian caused an inland-wide blackout at St. Thomas and St. John in the United States Virgin Islands. Scattered outages across St. Croix, uh, St. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that, St. Croix, Croix, Croix. Government spokesman said power outages were across the area and 110 mile per hour gusts. So be prepared for this storm, as it could be a Category 4 when it makes landfall, making it one of the most powerful storms to hit Florida in a very long time. It could be equal to or greater, they say, than the ones that hit back-to-back -back in Florida in the 90s, causing so much devastation. Trees were down everywhere, and Florida looked like a post-apocalyptic zone during that time. And uh, my parents remember that storm. They witnessed it. It was all over the news and everything. So, stay as safe as possible if you live in Florida, and I just thought I'd give an update. Peace, everyone. Signing out.